Okay, so now we're going to pick up and uh, where we left off with the I.O. simulation of the emulator. Now using the uh, emulator to um, actually control our I.O. So, you know, like we did before, you know, coming in here, forcing things and uh, or toggling them on and off and stuff of that nature. So what we're going to do is add some uh, logic on this one. So uh, this is what this video is about. It's a, basically a continuation of the last one. So if you didn't check that one out, it will be in the, the links below. So um, just check that out first. And if you you know, if you want to or also, um, you know, make sure you, you uh, share with everybody so we can keep building the audience. So I'd like to get everybody's opinion and you know, we can get more and more stuff. But um, either way, let's go ahead and get get to the video. So. All right, so what we want to do, uh, you know, we threw in the light switch on and off. Um, I tell you what, let's um, do some basic stuff, right? So let's do, uh, let's just throw in some timers and like a, a little flasher timer scenario and control the output like that. So let's quickly throw in a couple timers and then we'll call this uh, like timer one, uh, you know, just something quick, right? Uh, and then we'll have like a one second uh, interval. So timer two, again, one second interval. So basically, uh, you know, one second on, one second off type thing. Um, again, we'll throw in our counteracting bits to that uh, so that we can kind of control those. So if two is not on, and just like you'll see right here, um, then it will cut on the timer to number one. And if number one is done, then it will cut on the timer to two. So it would keep flip -flop, flip flopping like that. And then what we'll do is we'll, we'll copy this one and then we'll come down and we'll basically paste it in here and we'll throw in another, uh, OTE. And this OTE, what we'll do is we're going to call this, um, Let's just say horn for the simulation, right? Just for a simulation. We're just going to program a horn. I don't know. We want to make a make a siren or something. I don't know. So um, we're going to alias that again. We're going to use our output card 7. Um, we're going to come in and use, because we've already used uh, bit 0 over here. So we're going to use, uh, let's use bit 2. That way you kind of see a little difference. Um, so we'll throw that in there. And let's see if the logic works okay so that's cool so let's come over here to our IO let's go into and you can see the IO working right so let's go into our data and let's drag this down so we get kind of out of our way so you see the IO actually simulating it's working so that's the horn going off and on um, you know we can basically say you know uh, we can put the light switch on to say okay well we only want the, the horn to come on if the light switch is on so we can basically say you know if the light switch is on that's the only time we get we even care to even you know have the the horn going off so then if we cut on the first one now this one's going to work in tandem right so it's going to start using the timers and start actually working um so this is you know one instance so I just wanted to kind of show, uh, you know, a little quick example of, you know, how to use um, the inputs and outputs and stuff of that nature. So, I mean, we could use several different inputs. Again, uh, you don't have to alias it too, um, but you can also look in and uh, see exactly what's going on with this stuff. So, um, and it, it, I could basically clear all this stuff too if I wanted to. So, again, so you, if you've seen video one, you've seen all that, um, but... What I wanted to show here is, you know, a little, little different logic and stuff of that nature. So we can, uh, we can basically, uh, you know, do that. We can say if the horn comes on so many times, we can throw in a counter or something like that. But honestly, if you've, you've seen what one video of me doing that, you've probably seen a hundred. What we can do though, and I think would be very interesting is make an IO or make an, uh, an AOI using this stuff. Um, you know, have uh, an AOI control or have uh, the simulated inputs controlling an AOI in that nature. So having this, if I cut this on, control an AO AOI if you, you know, if you want it. So um, in the next video, what we'll do is uh, we'll do that. 
we'll, we'll go ahead. And I, I think that would be pretty interesting. People would see it, at least an AOI working, an add-on instruction that we physically make, and then use the I.O. for that. So again, sorry for the short video, but hopefully you got uh, a little bit of the, the gist of how the inputs and outputs work on the simulation. And if you didn't see video one, check the links below. It'll be there. And again, uh, please share and subscribe. Thank you.